Hello. Welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Cancer Weekly Money and Career Reading from June 27th to July 2nd, 2022. Apologies for the late uploading. Busy schedule. Sorry for that, Cancer. Let's see what is happening in this current week, June 27th to July 2nd. Nice. The Nine of Cups. You have, you are obtaining what you want. You are finally at a moment where that thing on your mind, that project you wanted to develop, or that thing you wanted to learn, those classes you wanted to take, that business you want to start, that idea, that creative idea that you've had on your mind, you are going to do that. Or moving, moving cities, moving countries, whatever it was on your mind. This is the moment, Nine of Cups, where you believe in it, where it, where it is turning into a reality. Uh, Nine of Cups. It's that, you know, those aspirations coming true, that job that you want, that promotion that you want, right? Whatever your aspirations or your goals are, this is this week is that beautiful positive energies to develop this, to make it all happen, to bring it all to fruition. And, and with the Page of Pentacles, manifesting finances, manifesting financial offers, either money coming in or a financial offer coming in or an offer. Usually financial offer, Page of Pentacles, but it's really about manifesting money. Um, if you want to raise, if you um, want a loan, um, if you are waiting for that job with more money or, you know, that salary uptake, this is the moment you, this is happening. Page of Pentacles is, um, it can, you know, it can be, it's, it's messages, it's, and new something new something new is happening something new is brewing and 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 some that that is pushing you forward on a new opening a new financial opening a new job opening i don't know okay let's see let's see if we have more cards coming out too many cards cancer money and career weekly june 27 july 2nd i'm going to try to make these a little shorter because since I am late and I just wanted to get a few weeklies out, I'm not going to be able to do all signs, but I wanted to get some out um, and also finish the monthlies this week, uh, July 22. Look at this, the fool. It's a whole new adventure, Cancer. You are entering a completely new adventure, um, believing in yourself, trusting yourself that you're switching, you're shifting your path. I think that you're really in a good mood this week. <laughs> uh, it's making me happy. It's make me, making me smile. The Fool is about um, opening up to a new adventure. Am I taking these cards? Or it's too many cards? Am I? T okay. Um, the Fool is about opening up to new adventures, but trusting yourself, trusting that it's time, trusting that you can do it. You know, boosting your self-confidence. Um, it's all about timing, um, knowing that you can push forward, you can push your idea forward, you can, um, you can be freer. It's, it's, it's like a new start. You're deciding to be independent. You're deciding on a, on a, on a job, you can be freelance. You, it's something that is opening your freedom, that's opening up your schedule. You're able to do something differently. It, and, and it's spontaneous. It's, uh, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really about um, finding your independence, your financial independence, and, um, and just going for it, the fool. There's no looking back. Um, you you got this, uh, cancer. I mean, it's it's really 
learning to trust yourself in this new endeavor, listening to your intuition, having faith in your, uh, you know, in your energies as you engage in life and change careers, change jobs. It's completely new. This is something completely new. And you, you know that, that the more potential you allow in your path, the more success is pushing forward. This is a new experience. This is something you've never experienced before. This is something that, that, that really, really is energizing and opening up doors on a new world. Wow. This is like, you're opening up to a new world around you. Um, cancer, it is beautiful. You have worked a lot. You have worked your, your your way through this. You maybe have thought this out. You planned this out. You worked a lot on this. You spent a lot of time. Maybe a lot of you maybe invested money on this um, idea, budget, business, creation, whatever it is for you. It, it's it's a new era. It is it is so refreshing, Cancer, this week push forward it, it's it's something that you are aligning with you are your true self you're happy in your skin you're happy to push forward you're happy to push forward in your new business and your new idea uh in your new job take it as it resonates it can be a completely new career that you are but you're independent. This is making you financially independent. Uh, it's like your soul is independent. Your life is independent. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. You're marching forward, trusting yourself. Your confidence is up. You are leading something. Are you leading a team? You're successful. Uh, people are coming to you. You're, you're, you're praising your way, your 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 um, work ethic, your talent, your dedication to a job, to a project, to a business. You are um, successful in this endeavor. Uh, the lovers, because you are genuine, because you have shown your honesty, your trust, your dedication, but but also because you are uh, true to yourself, true to your beliefs, true to your your core beliefs. You're not. There's no facade. There's no. Um, there's no filter with you, um, a cancer. What you see is what you get. So um, this is really something that belongs to you that's giving you a, a sense of freedom but that's also very fulfilling um the the lovers i i do love i i do enjoy the lovers but it's also um you have to be very clear on your choices very clear on your on on your path, on your, what you want to develop, what this is all about, what the job is, the promotion, the business, how you're going to develop it. You have to be, and what it is, and who you are, how you represent yourself on this path to develop this new business job. You, you're aligning yourself with who you are. And because you have, you're, you're genuine and you're authentic in your personality and you can really articulate what you believe in and what you stand for and you're really in touch with your emotions and harmony with your, your inner feelings and with, you know, you can, you're, you're, you're opening heart, you're opening your heart to something new. And because you can share your emotions with others, because you have, well, you're water sign cancer, right? So because you can connect with others on a higher level, you can sense uh, emotions, you can read people, you can uh, understand people without even talking, right? Sort of like Scorpio, you, you can understand, you have empathy for others. Um, this is, this is, um, something that is pushing you forward. And as you have figured that out, your philosophy, you now can establish this new you. You now can establish what is, is essential for you and start new. 
whatever this is, whether it's a project, a business, uh, uh, you know, putting yourself out there as a new person and trusting yourself in creating something, but creating something that is fulfilling and honest. So the lovers is about projecting your true core values so people see you for who you are and as you project your emotions your values your uh core beliefs uh who you are in life and what you want to what how you position yourself in life what your philosophy is what your energies is, are how you project yourself is how people are going to perceive you so how these energies are positive and clear and understanding and truthful um those energies that you're putting out there that are clear and genuine are going to come back in a beautiful beautiful positive way attracting and connecting sort of those synchronicities with the right people on the right path that see you for who you are, that see your generosity, your empathy, your beautiful talent. That is how you attract people and connections and potentials and opportunities in your career, in your life, in your job. That is how, this is an absolutely beautiful reading cancer so far. Seven of Swords. <laughs> Of course, right? But the Seven of Swords is, um, I, it's, it's, I feel like it's in the past because it's with the Six of uh, Cups. So we're going to pull more cards to see what this Seven of Swords in the past is all about. Is it something in the past that was, um, what, that was stopping you from creating your business or, or moving forward on your career? Was it a blockage? Is it a family member? Is it a friend? Is it a vibe? Is it a past coworker, a past company or, you know, manager or someone you work with that it, that has had a, a hold on you in a negative way where you cannot trust certain ways or certain people on this future path? Let's see. Or are you moving back to... You have diff. There are different scenarios. Um, or are you moving back to a comfort zone, uh, a familiar zone, a familiar place, a hometown, closer to your family, closer to your children, or a place that you really liked, or a company you really love to work with, or a team of people you really like to work with? right? Whatever it is, it's something that really you enjoy. That's your, your comfort zone. Are you moving to that? Are you going there? Maybe you're moving to your hometown. Um, we will see why we have this uh, seven of swords. Uh, maybe you're scared of this move. Maybe it's something that's a little tricky and it's triggering certain vibes or certain energies that you, you know, that you felt in the past. Even as a child, it's possible. It's possible. But wow. Oh, wow. All right. So, yes, we have the hermit. It has been a journey cancer. This has been a long journey. Whatever it is that you're starting here, because it's a complete new adventure, an exciting new adventure that you're positive, that you are enjoying, that you have had in mind, it is not something new. It's something that you've been wanting to do for a while. It's been on your mind. It's something very fulfilling. You're very talented. You're leading a team or you're starting your own business. You're, you're very confident in what you do and you have been waiting this is something that has been on your mind and you've been waiting and you spend a lot of time waiting and in investing time and money but it's all coming together now maybe it's been years maybe it's been months maybe it's something that's been on you know in your family on your mind for a while you have dug deep uh cancer to figure things out i think that these two cards are essential in this reading either something in your past either something in your childhood or something relating to your family or or friends or something that is very dear to your heart 
was difficult. Um, an idea, uh, something, some people you didn't trust or a situation that was difficult that, that triggered you and that sort of has this remnants of triggers right you're still trying to figure out or you already figured out but it has been difficult because it's something that you really had to soul search introspect patience you have had to work on this over and over like months or maybe even years even a lifetime to understand to have patience, to understand what life is all about, to understand how you situate yourself in life, how you situate yourself in your family life, in your career life, in your, you know, all around. Whatever triggered you, whatever the situation was, that put you really in that tunnel of introspect to put everything back in place, to let go of those those blockages that were preventing you from having that ideal career or preventing you from starting your own business or preventing you to be creative and believe in yourself and be self-confident and just enjoy and put yourself out there and uh, try things and put that positive energy out there and just believe in yourself. I think that, I think this situation here is what you what everyone and I think this is everyone on the planet this is not just you cancer but this everyone at one point has a soul search and has to figure out along the way who they are what they want in life <coughs> let me grab a little drink and often <clears throat> sorry Often these triggers or these soul search are triggered from something very specific, a family event, a career event, the loss of a job, the loss of someone in their life, the, or a shift in the family or a shift in your life. You know, you move somewhere or, or family moves or you start a new career or you move to a different country or move to something like that, right? There, the hermit pops up when it is essential to realign yourself and work on yourself and work on what is essential for you um, in your life and to be kind to yourself and to understand that everyone in this world, every single person, whether they want to talk about it or not, or whether they want to be aware of it or not, that's a whole nother issue. But everyone in this person has issues to deal with and issues to understand themselves and some people never do some people are not interested in this right some people just enter a life and have a life and don't think about anything and just keep moving and pay the bills and that's it right or not interested in introspection and uh asking uh, themselves questions and trying to figure out how to be kinder to oneself and and to love oneself and to understand that we're all beautiful people on this planet and we can all all um, be uh, confident and we can all build and we can, we can all create and we can all um, enjoy the power of creativity and put ourselves out there anybody in any way because there's every single way as possible and here you are cancer sorry for the rant but this is this is something that you're really that's coming together this is a new life this is a new path you are starting a new life cancer something that's been on your mind and maybe you're moving cities moving states moving countries changing complete careers and it is because of a family or a friend or a, or a, a core, a core emotional uh, situation that you are changing and you're deciding to change your life. Wow, this is a uh, uh, this is a very very important reading, Cancer. Um, 
the world is about bringing it all together. It's the moment of growth, the moment of understanding. You're sort of glowing with a sense of achievement, of fulfillment, of finally understanding who you are, how you place yourself in the world, how you place yourself in on your path and your family. And it's all sort of all coming together where you are understanding others, other are understanding you, you are, they are seeing you for who you are. Your reflection is honest, true, and understanding, and really without filter. I love this. You are very clear with who you are. And now you can honor a certain achievement, right? Um, something has really, really come for so, full circle and a sort of very, very revealing in a sense of closure and accomplishment in your life, in your soul life, in your family life, in your career. It is a real beautiful sense of closure, uh, everything coming together. So I feel like now you feel complete. You're at the right place and whatever decisions you make now, because it is a new beginning. So whether it's a new path, a new life, a new beginning, uh, you know, a, a a change of career uh, or just all in all a change of philosophy in your life a new approach to your life you know honor your achievements celebrate yourself celebrate your your beautiful um um energies and uh celebrate your success bringing your your goals to fruition it is about you it is about your challenges along the way that made you stronger, that made you more experienced, and you accepting and to love yourself for who you are and letting go of those harmful illusions about yourself, about your situation and how you can or cannot do certain things or how you are allowed or you allow yourself or you don't allow yourself because you, you know, it's not for you or you can't, or it's not the right time or you're just not doing it right. Allow yourself, um, to, to let go of these harmful illusions about, um, what you can or cannot accomplish, uh, um, acknowledging your place within the world and how you can make a beautiful, positive impact around you and your community and your city and your, uh, you know, around you. It is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Action forward, uh, c Cancer. It's very philosophical. It's very, um, it's, it's very, um, am I taking these? No. Okay. Uh, it's something soulful. You, it's, it's almost like you have resolved, um, you have closed wounds in your soul and it has taken months, maybe even years to understand why you had those wounds, what triggered those wounds or where they came from. That's why you have the hermit in understanding that now you've opened yourself to something so much lighter. All opportunities are possible. And that's why you are so confident accepting at new adventures. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, so this Ten of Swords wanted to come out. So here we go. Yes, it's the ending of... Um, a painful cycle, but a necessary cycle to, you know, really understand uh, who you are and why maybe you were resentful or maybe you didn't understand certain things or maybe you just didn't connect with certain people. Whatever the situation here, actually, I'm going to put this over here. These are wounds from the past, but the soul search has just healed that opening up to a new life this is your new life cancer and this is just a weekly reading oh um, my it's very touching it's very touching you've worked very hard you're very skilled at what you do and i think that now your new sense of yourself your new sense of freedom of lightness of being and enjoying life and positive it's just like a positive vibe uh, is, you know, bringing in financial opportunities, ace of pentacles, people are, someone is offering you a job or someone is offering you a new adventure, or offering money for a new adventure to develop a business or to, it, it can, this can be a new job, ace of pentacles, absolutely. 
it's not just manifesting money, although you do have the page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles about that, you know, a new financial opportunity, a new project, a new offer, a new, uh, the offer of a new, new project. Um, and then the ace of pentacles is that abundance coming in. So maybe this offer is a beautiful, beautiful raise or, or financial opportunity to develop your business, to develop your project or an idea or to move to a different country or to move to a different city. This can be moving to start all over. Wow. What an amazing reading. This is the transformation of a lifetime. And we don't even have the death card, but we don't have to. It's sort of something coming full cycle, full circle. Um, you probably had the death card before. But it's, it's really interesting that you're, you know, you're, it's, a, it's a thorough understanding of your being thorough discovery of your being yes this is an offer financial offer on a new project working hard new project on something you know how to do you're talented six of wands trusting confident leading the way successful and also um eight of pentacles right you 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 work hard on getting better and better and better uh, at what you do or making the product better or making the project better. And, and you're not alone, clearly. Three of Pentacles is teamwork. So I think you're getting an offer here, um, Cancer, to move or to open up to something new, something international, uh, Two of Wands. It's a moment of planning you're planning new, you might be planning to move. I, I, I really feel like there's a sense of move. It doesn't have to be, but you're really choosing this path and you, you, you want to travel. You want to open up to the, mo to the world. You want to open up to the world. You want to discover the world. So yeah, I, I feel like this is, this soul search has opened you up to want to discover new. And I think it's sort of projecting you on a completely different path in a different world. Now, it doesn't have to be a different country. It doesn't have to be a different city um, or state if you're living in the U.S. Um, it, it is really about you starting your new life, whatever that represents for you. It's a new energy opening up to the world. Wow, what a powerful, powerful reading, Cancer. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road, Cancer. Power for new decision, powerful new adventure, call it what you want. Yeah, moving forward, moving forward, yes. You're, you're marching forward on a new project, new adventure new business, Tall, call it as it is. Um, it's, it's, it's creative. It feels creative. It doesn't have to be, but it feels creative, but it's the adventure of a lifetime because you're ready. And because now you know who you are and you're so clear and you're, you're, you rid yourself of those negative, uh, um, negative, um, mindsets that you had that you, about what you could or couldn't accomplish or what you, that you weren't worthy or that you, it wasn't for you or it was never time or it wasn't your turn or something like that. And it's wonderful, wonderful, positive reading energies. Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please comment down below. Let me know if you connected with this reading. Let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, uh, if you connected with it in one way or another, if it's helpful in one way or another. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have subscribed already and hit the bell cancer. It's very important. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Uh, and if you've just stumbled upon this channel uh, and enjoyed this reading, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and uh, don't hesitate to subscribe or hit the bell either. Uh, thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Um, 
Uh, have a great week and uh, take care, Cancers. Bye-bye.